as a vil- uh, military veteran that is myself, uh, it's nice to know. Now, it's been a long time since I've been out. It's nice to know that there is are a lot of programs out there for vets and guidance, and especially transitioning. Whether or not you've been in any type of uh, uh, hairy locations or not, it is such a, a different mindset, a different uh, way of life and transitioning back to civilian life to be able to not only uh, just have that feeling of normalcy again, I, uh, for lack of a better term, be able to grow your hair out a little bit, you know, uh, but also really able to find a, a career uh, that actually caters to veterans. And we've been talking for the last few months now about Lifton Institute of Media Arts and Sciences, also known as LIMS Movie Studio in Castaic. They're a full working movie studio. If you have a production to do, not only do they have sound stages, they have pre and post production, table reading facilities and everything else uh, to put together a movie from beginning to end. But what I think is really cool is they offer a program for military veterans that, uh, as they say, gets them into the movie industry. And here with me, about to graduate next week from the program, it's a 10-week program, Matt Miller is an Air Force uh, veteran. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You are very welcome. So you are, they're, they're, first of all, just, just to be clear, this is a, a program that there's nothing up front. As a military veteran, you can get started. It's a 10-week fully immer- full immersion program where you just basically it's starting working on a uh, film project right away, correct? That is. That's correct. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about your experience. First of all, how did you com- come across uh, uh, LIMS? Um, I actually found it on Facebook. I was looking around for jobs and kind of looking in the Hollywood area, thinking about the movie industry. And it popped up on there saying, we accept veterans. They had a really good veteran program. I went on the tour and I loved it. So I signed right up. That's uh, so far, everyone, I mean, and not just because they're on the radio, because even off the air, I'll go, come on, come on, really, mm-hmm. what's it like? And you decided, now there's there's all kinds of different programs. First of all, uh, I know they, they even have uh, stunt programs and stuff in front of the camera and a lot of different types of uh, uh, fields behind the camera. I've talked with sound operators. I've talked with set, con- set construction. I've talked with production assistants and uh, and even accountants. Things people like getting into the uh, production field uh, as far as management goes. And you decided to go for the art department what drew you to that um i've always been kind of artsy i like to make things i like to get creative and you know i like to just you know get stuff out there and get things on the movie screen and so in this case though uh, especially kind of focusing on prop making and this mm-hmm. these are things that are still very viable uh, uh, fields and uh, a lot of jobs out there for uh, set construction despite all the green screen and everything else it's not all movie magic there is stuff in, in sets and things that still need to be built and uh, props need to be put together right oh yeah that's totally correct so you are now tell me about your experience uh, what were you expecting when you first on your first day were you thinking that it was going to be a classroom setting or or did you have an idea what you were going to get into i really didn't have any idea i kind of thought there would be some classroom work but no it was just you know this is what we're doing we're going to throw you right into the movie industry and right on day one uh, i learned a whole lot uh, about filmmaking and the first day i got there we actually started filming so I just got thrown right into the mix, and I loved it right from the start. And have you ever uh, worked on a film before? No, it was the first time. So right right out of the gate there. And this is a 10-week program. You're going to graduate next week. Now, what happens after that? Uh, after I graduate, they give you assistance in helping uh, to get jobs all over Hollywood and Los Angeles. And you were, you've been out, you mentioned, told me off the air, because you were in the Air Force. You've been out for about four years. What were you doing before? Uh, before before the Air Force? I mean, I mean before you you went to LIMS, I oh, should Oh, before say. I went to LIMS. Um, well, I'm a disabled vet, so I spent uh, about a year trying to in recovery. And then I was actually having a problem finding a job as a disabled vet. And I'm really glad I found the LIMS opportunity. It really helped me. So this is an opportunity for veterans. Uh, this is uh, California, Hollywood, USA, film capital of the world still. Uh, but yet, if you decided you wanted to go somewhere else, there's plenty of film opportunities all over the nation now. So you're not just necessarily limited to California. And if you are a veteran looking uh, to get into the film industry or wanting to change careers, and I've spoken, uh, by the way, 
Matt, with, with veterans who have been out for, uh, you know, who were in when I was in, in the 1980s, mm-hmm. who are still finding. So it's not necessarily, you don't have to have just gotten out or anything like that. Uh, VET200, V-E-T, the number 200.com is the number, is the uh, website you can go to to get direct assistance and fill out a form and uh, even start to figure out uh, what field you would like to be in as far as the movie industry. Uh, LimbsLA.com if you want to know more about the, uh, the Lifton Institute of Media Arts and Science on a general level. And again, if you are a veteran, this is a program where there's nothing up front. This is a free program to get you in, right? Yes, that is correct. That is amazing. So again, a really good opportunity. A lot of people, Matt, I know, is also starting as second careers. They've done stuff uh, after they got out of the military. And I think this is terrific. And especially uh, uh, with being a disabled vet, I know it's not always easy for the opportunities for you to be able to get in. And I know a lot of the vets that I've talked to have, have gotten work right out of the gate. So hopefully that will be the same uh, experience for you. And also want to thank you for your service. Thank you. Especially as security forces. Uh, me being a military policeman, we had uh, a little bit in common there. So um, I'd love to hear like uh, down the road, if you want to get back in touch with us and let, let me know how that works out once you graduate and what's going on. Because uh, terrific uh, opportunities for you. Thanks for stopping in and talking about this. Matt Miller, Air Force veteran. is the Lifton Institute of Media Arts and Sciences veteran training program. Vet200.com. V-E-T200.com. Also information about this program on our website at hometownstation.com. Matt, thank you so much for coming out and talking with me. Thank you for having me.